What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video we're talking about a new jailbreak that has been released and is now available that is in direct competition with the Uncover and it works on 13.5, 13.4, 13.0 and stuff like that and everything in between on the latest devices as well. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software WhatsApp Business Transfer which allows you to transfer your WhatsApp or WhatsApp business conversation from your iPhone to your Android or vice versa. Check it out in the link below. So of course I'm talking about the Odyssey jailbreak. This has been in development for quite some time. The main developer behind it is Coolstar and a couple other developers in the community and they finally have an official website which looks like this. Now it definitely looks good but the screenshots of the jailbreak do definitely have a Chimera vibe especially with the round button in here with the jailbreak text. But anyways that's not important. The style is basically just a style. Anyways, it says in here some pretty interesting claims, like fast, really fast. It says in here, quote, Odyssey is the first jailbreak to be written almost entirely in Swift. It's also a snappy, responsive experience that you can't find anywhere else, with full support for iOS 13.0 up to 13.5. Now this is important, because this jailbreak doesn't work with iOS 12 or with iOS 11 like Uncovered does. You probably know that the Uncovered jailbreak has full support for iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 13.5 in a single build. Well, the Odyssey team did a different thing. For iOS 11, you have the Electra. For the iOS 12, you have the Chimera. And of course, for 13, you have Odyssey. Separate projects for separate iOS versions. And then they make a very important point in here. Quote, completely open. It says, Odyssey is completely open source and welcomes community contributions and pull requests as a tribute to dearly departed Southwest and his continued optimism and faith in the project. Now, for those of you who weren't lucky enough to know Southwest, he was maintaining a fork of the uh, Future Restore, which is basically used for downgrades and stuff like that. And he was deeply interested in iOS. He has unfortunately died to cancer a couple of months ago. So they basically made the uh, the project as a tribute to him because he always wanted to see an open source jailbreak. And this is actually quite nice of them. And then they say here, quote, all new, all improved. Odyssey comes with the open source Procursus bootstrap. This is actually quite nice. I talked about this in a video about the uh, check rain and it's definitely something good. I think it was created by a diatrist, but I can't remember, but it's actually quite good. And then they say here, quote, designed from the ground up with openness and compatibility in mind. Odyssey also comes equipped with full libhooker support so speed and reliability are ensured. Now instead of the Cydia substrate and stuff like that or the substitute they actually come with libhooker so it's actually good because it's actually a stable build though they are not actually released just yet. There is a build available and you can get it from Teamstar but if you press the download button here the download IPA it will actually send you to a video and if you check out the corner down below in there it sends you to a video which is a rickroll. The actual real IPA IPA file can be found in here on Tim Star's Twitter. He said, quote, hashtag Odyssey, hashtag leak, and posted a direct link to his website. However, when you click on the website, something weird pops up in here. It says, the site ahead contains harmful programs. Now, this is a Google Chrome-ish thing that appears and you can actually dismiss it. It says in here that you can visit the site anyways, though it doesn't actually let you download. If you press in here, you have to actually press twice and then you can get the IPA file. Now, I don't know what's that about. I didn't test the IPA file and I didn't test the um, the website, but we do know that Timstar is actually a legitimate developer in our community, so I think it's actually a false positive. There's nothing wrong with the website, I definitely don't believe so. But yeah, it surprises me that when you click in here on the download IPA file, it actually goes to the recrawl video, which, yeah, they could have actually made the section into being the IPA file available in here. But uh, Timstar says, quote, keep in mind that this is not final. If you get black screen after the exploit, try running with tweaks disabled and run, quote, rm slash dot disable tweak inject and of course kill all backport D. So this is like a pre-release version like if you want to test it and stuff like that but it's not available on the official website. However if you do press get it somewhere else in here it would bring it to the uh, try ignition website but the tweet is not available as you can see in here so yeah, I don't know this website is actually quite weird at this point. Uh, so yeah I know it's not supposed to be out right now they are still developing it. Uh, the only IPA file you can find I think is this one in here 
by Timstar, which he says in here is not final, so it may actually take a while before we get a stable release for this jailbreak. But yeah, I wanted to let you know that they finally do have a, a released website and they do have a release available. As I said, this one in here actually works. It's actually a jailbreak, but it's not the final version. It's like a beta if you want. But yeah, the buttons on the website don't actually work. They don't do anything in here. It's, it's actually quite weird. And another thing that I actually found to be pretty amusing is the fact that they say in here that it's completely open source and if you press the open source to actually go to the repo where it's supposed to be it says page not found. You know, this is actually quite weird. It's either because the repo is actually private at this point and I don't have access or because they misspelled something or they renamed it or whatever, but it's actually quite weird. Oh, by the way, you can change the themes in here. But yeah, this is going to support the iOS 13.5, 13.4.1 and 13.4 and 13.2 and, 13 and stuff like that, all the way down to 13.0 and it's supposed to be a direct competitor to the Uncover. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to test this jailbreak, but for the moment, none of the download buttons actually do anything and the only available IPA is the one from Timstar that you can actually install but I wouldn't recommend it because it's still not the final version and it may have bugs. If you want to test it I definitely advise you to test it on a separate device even though migration from Uncover and from the uh, check range should definitely be easy. Thank you for watching I'm Geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.